hello YouTube, probably haven't seen this little device before, I've been using it for a couple of months now. I converted an old Roby charger into something that could power things on the go, on the move, so I can take the sight. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just uh, moving water around manually, um, I haven't sorted out my uh, system uh, for moving rainwater around. So yeah, this little device here has got um, banana plugs at 12 volt, a USB 5 volt, it's got uh, 12 volt uh, Deans and 2.1 by 5.5 and a 12 volt socket and down there it has 18 volt uh, banana plugs, two fuses, two switches, if I switch this one up here, I might get my hand in there. Switch the 12, uh, switch the 12 volt side. The other one switches the USB side. It's a little red light. Yeah, and there was something else I made to go with this. I have to take you to the shed to show you that. Right, so let's just run over this again. Got two fuses, two switches, USB, two 12 volt, uh, four mil banana plugs, a two point. 1 by 5.5 a Dean's connector and a 12 volt plug underneath there's two jacks which put out um, 20 volts 18 to 20 volts depending on what the battery is um, inside we have uh, the what do you call the thing the shunt the current shunt uh, which uh, goes across the negative um, basically this doesn't do uh, and I think uh, it just shows 68% uh, charge. This is set up at 50 amp hours, so obviously I can calculate how much power I've taken out of battery. I haven't bothered to set it up. Um, showing 20 volts. We're showing no time, no watts, no amps, or little to no amps. Uh, and the easiest way to test this is to just grab hold of a generic USB lamp plug it into here, turn on the USB and the screen flashes to say that the load is on and if we go down a little bit closer and try to focus on it 155 milliamp 3 watts and it's showing it will run <laughs> if it was at 34 uh, amp hours capacity for 75 hours so turn that off, the load will disappear Proves it works. What have we got next? I've got a 12 volt soldering iron. If I can find it. If I get hold of my 12 volt soldering iron, I'll plug that into the 12 volt side. Don't tend to use soldering when I'm at work, but you never know when you might need it. Plug that into there, no load shown, turn it on. And we're drawing 1.6 amp at 32 watts. So this would probably run for just under an hour on a 1.3 amp hour battery. Let's turn that off. I've already used the 12 volt side. Um, there's no point using the others. But I will show you the one other um, item that I made to go with this. Bring the camera up a little bit further. And that is, out of an old NICAD battery, I made this. Ta-da! Uh, it's just basically an empty shell. And on the other end of the 2.5mm flex, there is two banana plugs. So I can plug this into the 18 volt side. Uh, what tools I've got to hand? I've got radio. Uh, plug a radio into it. Oh, the switch is a bit dodgy on this. No, okay, we we'll forget the radio. Uh, that's since been retired. Oh, drill. I have a drill. Click. So you can see the power consumption of a drill or power tool 
Um, I actually made this up just for testing. Uh, see the no load um, current is about three and a half amps, 65 watts. Um, but what I wanted to find out is some of these tools, if I used uh, a power tool, how much would it draw if it was under load? So let's put this under load. So you see there, it was about six amps. And this is actually just going on reverse into a bit of wood. There you go. So about eight amps there. Let's see the watts. It's about 133 watts there without drilling through everything. Um, yeah, so I, I just made that up for test purposes. I could change that later on or make another lead up. Uh, say for my laptop uh, as yet I, I can't get the battery out the drill now uh, something's gone wrong here there we go so yeah I, I could replace these banana plugs down here with something uh, to allow me to run my laptop worst comes to worst but I haven't got around to that yet so that is that that is my little uh, portable Ryobi power supply and of course you can use any any battery in that NiCad or lithium. I did have to modify because this is an old NiCad charger. I did have to put a slot uh, down inside to allow it to actually take the lithium batteries. Just means that the lithium batteries are a little bit more snug when they reach the bottom. Um, I haven't actually got any 4 amp hour lithium batteries handy. Oh, no, I have. I like. I have. <sighs> have a um, copy battery this is uh, not made by Ryobi this is made by an external company and that will run this just happily this is still to be tested it says it's a 4 amp hour battery but you don't know what you're getting sometimes I actually haven't even looked inside this anyway that's that uh, thank you very much for watching please subscribe comment rate and I'll see you in my next video cheers